floss tube. It has been a while. Don't kill me. <laughs> um, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my rambly videos. <laughs> um, in case anybody's wondering, I am doing a lot better. I'm not quite so sad anymore. Um, we got Sarah taken care of. She's we figured out what the, the peeing problem is. She has the beginning stages of kidney disease. So we've got her on a special diet now. She's uh, getting subcutaneous fluids. We do that twice a week here at home. Um, she's not happy about either one of those things, but she's adapting very well. Uh, we've had her on, I think we've been doing it for about two months now. Um, and I think it's also, she's doing a little bit better because she, she does now have some companions. We were in no way planning on getting another cat or cats quite as quickly as we did, but we were just kind of looking, you know, we were checking the, the local shelter and just kind of, just kind of looking at the kittens, maybe seeing if they had any bonded pairs or siblings up for adoption. Um, I fell in, uh, absolutely in love with the picture of this little calico kitten. Um, they had her named Scrubbing Bubbles and all of her siblings were named after cleaning products. Sadly, somebody else got to her first, so I hope she has a, a wonderful life with for her forever home. Um, so we didn't get her. And that had me very, very upset because I was kind of getting excited to have a new kitten, to have a new member of the family, having two new members of the family because we were planning on talking too fast. We were planning on adopting her sister as well because um, having two bonded cats will make our lives a lot easier with a almost 17 year old tabby. Um, and also they'll just have a companion for life because they will be with us for life. Um, either all of our lives or all of their lives, whichever ends first. <clears throat> and we didn't get them. Um, the shelter kind of was like, well, the sister is still sick, so do you still want her? And we were like, well, no, because we wanted the other sister too. And you guys actually kind of screwed around with us and did not even tell me if I was approved for the adoption of the first cat for, you know, little scrubbing bubbles. So that night when we realized that scrubbing bubbles got adopted out from under us, we uh, were just on Pet Finder, which is actually where our shelter hosts the, the pictures and profiles for all of their adoptable pets, cats and dogs included. Um, and we were just kind of looking through cats available in in Pennsylvania, kind of in our area, within like 50 to 100 miles, whatever it was. And we're just scrolling, just scrolling. And then we see four little orange kittens pop up. Orange female kittens. Now, if you're not super familiar with cats and their, their genetics, um, males are highly more predisposed to be orange than females. Well, these kittens won the genetic lottery because four females from the same litter were all orange. And one of them in particular caught my eye. Her name is Tinkerbell. And she had sisters. Her sisters were Aurora, Ariel, and um, what was the fourth one? I think it might have been Belle. I don't quote me on that because I don't remember now. And obviously we didn't adopt Belle. Um, we didn't adopt Ariel either. We were going to adopt Ariel. Um, but when we talked to the woman who was fostering these kittens, because they are from a rescue, she said that Tinkerbell was far more attached to her sister and sort of her twin named Aurora. So we got Tinkerbell and Aurora. It, th this rescue local whiskers in York County, Pennsylvania, is so good. <laughs> um, the price of the kittens are a little up there versus your local shelter, but they come with like spay, neuter, 
microchip, first round of vaccines. They're completely healthy when you adopt them. So, I mean, they have a full vet record by the time you adopt them. It's not just, you know, grab a kitten out of somebody's house and then you have to kind of figure it out. <laughs> um, so I, I think we put the application at like two in the morning because I was a much worse night owl then than I am now. And by the time I woke up, they were like, you're approved. You know, the, the, the foster mom is on vacation at the moment. She'll be back the next day. Um, she'll get in contact with you. Sure enough, she was. And it, it moved so fast. We had them within, I think, with, you know, the back and forth and making sure we had a weekend to go up. Five days? We had them within five days of being approved or something like that. It was a very quick. We were both so excited. We're both, <laughs> I'm still excited to have kittens. Um, when we adopted them, they were about four months old. It's been two months give or take maybe a little under they turn six months old I believe on the 15th which is a Wednesday so I have two six month old kittens in the house along with a 16 year old teddy cat Sarah wasn't necessarily happy when we brought them home but she tolerates them a lot better now um, we got a new cat tree. It's actually sitting right here next to me for now because the Christmas tree is there. Um, the Christmas tree is not on. The Christmas tree is not decorated. And it's both of those things because one, it's broken. <laughs> the kittens have climbed it. And because it's a very cheap tree from like Walmart, um, the branch is broke under six pounds of kitten. Just one kitten is like six pounds now. Um, it's a hot mess, folks. I'm not even going to show you it. I'm not even going to turn it on because then you'll be able to see how bad it looks. <laughs> um, but let's see. I think they're both hiding from me. Give me a minute. Let's see if I can find some of the kittens. Oh, there's Tinkerbell. Come here, baby. Come here, sweetie. Hey, Tinkerbell. Oh, this is Tinkerbell. Isn't she adorable? Look, sweetie. Looky. <laughs> she likes to cuddle me. She's a little afraid of my mother. But, um, I think that's because mom yells at them when they do bad things. And I kind of don't yell. I kind of sternly speak and, <laughs> um go and grab them. Mom kind of yells and sprays. But this is Tinkerbell. You can tell Tinkerbell is Tinkerbell because she has a big white spot on her back. I kind of call that her wings. She doesn't really want to be up here with me right now. She does cuddle, but right now she's got important kitten things to do and she wants to go do them. She also doesn't understand what a floss tube video is. They're very good kittens. The foster for these for these girls was very good. I mean, they don't attack hands, they don't attack feet. Um, they play with each other all the time, which is fabulous. So they keep themselves they keep each other entertained. Yeah. You're a cutie. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're a cutie. Actually, Tinkerbell is fairly fascinated with Sarah. Um, <laughs> not quite sure why. It might be because there were older foster cats in the home. And they kind of liked the foster. She must have really liked one of the foster cats. So. So this is Tinkerbell. This is the one that kind of caught my eye. And, you know, it's like, oh, she's cute. She was also the runt of the litter. You can't tell now. Look at this. Look at the belly. Look at the belly. Yes. When we took her to the vet last, she was five and a half pounds. Um, I think she's definitely about six now. <laughs> Let me see if I can find her sister, Aurora. And I promise, these are two different cats. Give me a second. I'm not gonna... Let's see. Hey, 
you, sweetie? Where's your sister? You have to get her food or something, huh? Where's she in the window? Let's see. One more minute. Here's Aurora. There you go. There's Aurora. Hi, pretty girl. Now you can tell, different kitten. No white spot on her back. This is Aurora. She was sitting on top of the on top of the tank on the toilet for some reason. What a silly girl. Yes. She likes playing in the tub <laughs> when it's dry, but she likes to play in the tub. Don't you? Don't you? Yes. All right, I'll let you go. Go on. Aurora actually really likes to cuddle with my mom, which is fabulous. Um, <laughs> but she, she's, you know, she's still a kitten, so she doesn't necessarily want to be held all the time. So they're both off. They're going to go do important kitten things, which is probably going to involve them chasing each other, which I'm fine with, but... It might get loud in here. Um, let's see, I went over Sarah, new kittens. Oh, new job. I have information. I did not get the original job I applied for. But the um, person from HR said, do you mind if I put your application in for a couple of other similar jobs? And I said, yeah, sure, if you think that um, the qualifications on my application lend themselves to, towards these other jobs. Go for it. I just, um, not the cleaning job, please. I don't want that. <laughs> and I got two interviews, one for adult probation, and I felt like that interview didn't go very well. I think they were looking for more of an A personality type than what I am, which is, to me, kind of weird because... I'm asking to be a desk clerk, you know, a secretary, basically. Um, and they're like, how would you feel if somebody came over the, you know, came over the curtain at you or something? And I'm like, uh, I'm going to run because I'm not a fighter. So that, that didn't go well, I don't think. Um, and then as I was leaving that interview, actually, I got a phone call. Um, didn't answer it because my phone was off. Got home, turned my phone on, there's a voicemail answer the voicemail, it's somebody from juvenile probation. And they said, we'd, we'd like to do an interview. And, you know, that Tuesday, I did my interview, got home, and uh, I was called half an hour after arriving home. They wanted to give me the job. So I got the job. <laughs> I started November, oh goodness, I started the day after Veterans Day here in the States. Um, let me see what that, uh, that was. So that would have been Friday the 12th. Um, so, I've been working there for almost a month now. Um, I really enjoy it. It's it's not as physically difficult, and I don't dread going to work now. The, my coworkers are all very, very nice. Um, they all seem to have a sense of humor, and they all really like food. I mean, for some reason, the, the secretary area, the, the, the clerk and administrative assistant office, seems to be the gathering point, and where all of the food people bring in gets stuck. I mean, there was like a meat and cheese tray the, my first Monday there for some reason. Um, there's been bowls of candy that have been sitting there since Halloween, apparently. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, they like to eat, which is good. We're doing a cookie exchange on uh, the 15th 
Wednesday the 15th of December. So it'll be fun <laughs> making my tassies. I've already made a go of them this year for myself, but I'm going to share the joy of tassies with the with my coworkers. Um, I work an earlier shift now, so I have lots of time in the evening for stitchy stuff. And boy, do I have a lot of stitchy stuff to go over with. I've actually got a lot of finishes, like FFOs, not just, oh, I finished something. So why don't we get on into it? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go over my, kind of made a list today. Let's go over my fabric of the months and my auction wins from Fortnite Fabrics. Because that's kind of the only haul I have. <laughs> So, first thing, we've got September's Fabric of the Month, which is called Jet Set. Ooh, hoo, hoo. this is showing up good. I've actually got a camera holder with a, with a built-in light, and you can see it now. That's actually looking fairly true to color. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was without this thing. Um, the, the holder thing I'm using, I got off Amazon on Black Friday for $9. I could have gotten the black one, but it was more expensive, so I ended up with pink, even though I'm not a fan of pink. Um, October's Fabric of the Month. Did I say September's name was called Jet Set? September's was called Jet Set. Um, October's was VIP. I was like very important person. And here it is. Oh yes, that is showing up a lot better. Like I said, not not absolutely perfect, but it is showing up a lot better. It shows up way better when I can't see my face. But uh, yeah, so that's that's VIP. That one's like a peachy sort of a color. All right, and then November is called Chauffeur. So they have a chauffeur to drive you around, and this one's green. I love their greens. I wish they did more and darker greens. So even though I know they don't watch, Derek, Christian, if you happen to watch, I would love some darker greens from you guys. Either in a normal, um, <laughs> even in a normal kind of thing, or even in a, a fabric of the month or something. So that's that. Then I have two auction wins, and what I won were ornament cuts. So the first set of ornament cuts I've got here is an ornament, there's like two 28 count cuts of linen, two 32 count cuts of linen, and two 36 count cuts of linen in various colors. And I haven't bothered to figure out which one's which. So I'm just gonna kinda hold them up. <laughs> that is pretty, pretty like chocolatey parchment brown. I like this one. This, this set I really wanted because it reminded me very much of fall. And it was, I think, around Halloween when I won these. So I couldn't not get them. You can see they're all kind of dark, kind of darker colors. But I like that. I got a lot of bright, sparkly colors, so I needed some... I needed some like Halloween sorts of colors. Let's see if I can do a spread with them a little bit. That's that's kind of sort of you can see the whole the whole thing together. Um, <laughs> And these were, these were just an auction win. Like I said, I haven't bothered to look and count and see 
which ones are which counts, but there they are. Then I got a pack of 16 count Ada ornament cuts. Hi, Sarah. Hi, pretty girl. Sarah's come to visit. Hi. Yes. Yes, Miss Mouth. Yes, Miss Mouth. Are you going to look at the camera? Are you going to look at the camera? Or are you just over it? Hmm? You're just over it? Okay. I'll let you be over it. Go back onto the cat tree then. Come on. Or on the floor. One of the two. Your pick. There you go. Good girl. Oh, swat at me. Apparently, I ticked her off by picking her up. <laughs> anyway, so the next auction win was a 16 count, or was a pack of six 16 count ornament cuts. 16 count ornament cuts. Good God, I can't talk. <laughs> um, I'm only going to be showing you five because I've already used one and it's already a finish. So you will see that later. So, first off, here's the first one. Very pretty, mottled blue. And I got this one, which is more purpley. Showing up a little more blue there, but it is... It's got some purple to it. Like, this big splotch here is far more purple. Let me see if I can... Hmm... That's better. I mean, like I said, you're never gonna get it perfect, perfect, but that's actually, that's pretty pretty good. Um, so there's that one. I should have used that fabric for a thing. This one is purple and you should be able to tell. Yep, that's purple. That one is very good. We got a gray. got a gray and then then we've got the piece that actually made me really want this kind of this this pack of 16 count ada because if you know me at all i don't really use ada i don't like the way it feels but folks if you're curious about fortnite fabrics ada it's a good mix between stiff and flexible so i don't know so like it's a little a little stiffish but then it is also very flexible it's very soft so it's not it's not like butter but it is it is very good if I can find I don't know what I'm gonna put on this one but I wanted it <laughs> so I now have it so there's my the five out of my six ornament cuts for the 16 count oh, I'm gonna do this next might as well start on the finishes. So here I have, oh, there's my book. My book of finished things. They have Christmas Cat from Les Petites Croix de Luce. I found this on one, two, three stitch. It's just a little ornament kitty. And this is done on the green 16 count Ada I got. I actually really, I did very much get the, the pack of Ada for this because I wanted, I wanted something for this. I do have plans to FFO it at some point. Um, I'd like to get it done this year. It might not happen this year just because I've been procrastinating a little bit on things, but I have everything I need for it. I just need to kind of hunker down and do it. <laughs> so there's, there's Christmas cat. It's got joyous Noel up there. My initials and 21. So yeah, it's very cute. I like it. I like it a lot. Why does this look? Hmm, everything looks backwards. But this isn't backwards when I go to upload it. That's going to tick me off. It didn't matter for anything else. 
Um, let's just put that one out. All right. Next, we will go into the uh, the FFOs. Which, if you remember, I actually have something that I was doing during work last video that was a that was started, but it is now an FFO. So I'm going to show it here. Um, we're going to start off with my Mill Hills because I finally kind of hunkered down and finished my FFO'd my Mill Hills. So first we have Exceptional. I just put a little bit of felt on them and oops, and then glue them down like that. So there's Exceptional. I did this all the way back in February. Then I have Mill Hills Pretzel. This one is very cute. So just, just like that. Like I said, just a little bit of felt and then that. Next I have American Pie. Did this back in June. And then I have Tropical Kitty. Now she's been, you know, she, she was one of those work projects, but you can't actually tell what I wrote on the back on this one because my pen was getting weird. But there she is, and she's finished. And she's cute. And then this is the one I had started, showed that I'd started last time. It's Happy Hello, it's um actually called Moonlit Night, but it says Happy Halloween on it. And then it's just a little, a little Halloween thing. I actually pulled all of these off of my refrigerator because I haven't put up anything new for Christmas. Um, Christmas feels a little weird this year. It's been a bad year emotionally. So we're just kind of not in the Christmas spirit. But then again, we've got the kittens. So we can't put anything up to make us in the Christmas spirit. It's a kitten. That's what I see. Wow. Okay, the cats are on the... The cats are on the stove in the kitchen. And that's what I saw back there. I was like, what is that? It's a kitten. Alright. I want a door. An actual door that I can shut. Because that, that blackness out there freaks me out. But I don't know where else I could film... Because I'm actually on a desk right now. I probably could film at the kitchen table, but it's weird. Um, I think I'm about to run out of camera space, so give me a minute. Alright, and we're back. I don't know if I'm running out of camera space or if I just didn't notice the little red blinking light. But let's keep going. So, let's see. So, I've now, I've then finished, FFO'd, my... American Santas, I started in July. So you've got Williamsburg Santa here. We've got the Jamestown Santa. And then the Plymouth Santa. I don't wanna know what they're even getting into. There's nothing they can hurt themselves on in there. The stove's completely off, so it's not hot or anything. I'm not worried about it. They're just gonna be making noise. I mean, I don't even know what they're in. Give me a second. And we're back. <laughs> um, there, there was a little bowl in there I'd had some butter in earlier that I thought I had picked up but did not pick up. So they were licking some slightly melted butter out of a bowl. Little heathens. <laughs> we call them little heathens a lot. I don't know why, but we do. It's because they're little stinkers. Uh, next, I finished, I fully FFO'd a bunch of my Just Nan mice. So here you have Just Nan's birthday mouse. All FFO'd. She's cute. Then we've, I FFO'd the birthday garden cube. And for anybody who was curious, I actually really did like doing the, the birthday cube. 
I will definitely be trying to get my hands on the Queen of the Needle cube as long as it's still around. Yes, I'm 30. <laughs> um, and there that is. Okay, so the further you hold it away, the better it looks. Might have to do this at a different thing because right now the light is actually just right here. Uh, and then we have Crystal Snow Lady Mouse. Ooh. She's a fabulous little thing. Look at the little robins that are one over one on her back. They're so cute. So very cute. Love it, love it, love it. And then I FFO'd Candy Corn Ghost Mouse. Ooh. Let's see about this light. Make it a little touch warmer. There you go. You can see the little candy corn heart thing is. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, if I'm not in the picture, it's a little bit better. There's the candy corn ghost mouse. It's got a little mouse, a little ghosty up there. Very cute. Little black ravens. And the little ravens actually have like a little candy corn piece in their mouths. So that's pretty cute. I have Her Majesty, the Queen of the Needle Mouse done. Let me just... There she is, Her Royal Highness. There we go. She's very good. Very good looking. And I have Sugar Plum Fairy Mouse. She is all done. This was actually far easier to deal with than I thought it was going to be. I thought I would have to sew all of this. No, you just glued it. So it might not stay on forever, forever, but it's... She's cute. And then I have Gingerbread Candy Mouse with his little, his little gingerbread piece there. So, you know, like I said, very, very cute. All right. Now, I'm going to throw these in with the Just Nan mice, even though these aren't FFOs. They are finishes. So I finished Miss Pansy Mouse, who goes with the um, Spring Mouse in a house. And I kind of have some of the housey pieces prepped. I just... Honestly, I didn't stitch these together yet because A, I was moused out. I was kind of done stitching mice together the day I put the day I put six mice together. So I kind of left her. And the house, I figured it would be better to hold off putting that together until I had summer mouse and a house done to put both of the houses together at once. Um, just because having that that little bit of a assembly line works really well. I just realized I have the TV on. I hope you guys haven't been able to hear that the whole time. Um, so there's the front door for Spring House. This is the back of the house, which is actually a pretty little tree with a robin's nest and some robins there. And I've got one of the side doors with a butterfly above the window. And then I've got one of the other sides that has a mouse on the window. And then I have the outside bottom of the cube there. A little mouse and my initials and the date. And then I've got the uh, inside carpet piece all done. I'm very happy with how all of these turn out, so I just haven't put them together yet. Like I said, I wanted an assembly line. Next, I have some splaining to do. So I didn't start that Halloween haunted house Mill Hill kit I showed in the last video. And I have a good reason for it. I found something different I wanted to stitch on. Those other things being the Clouds Factory Nightmare Before Christmas characters to hang on that little Halloween tree I'd gotten. And they turned out fabulous and it looked great. If I have a picture on my phone, I might pop it in somewhere. 
maybe right there while I was looking away because Tinkerbell's getting on my things. So I've just, these are done with a little bit of fishing line, oops, and then they're backed into some sparkly part, um, some sparkly, um, oh, what is the word? Scrapbooking stuff, cardstock, I think is it, it's the word. So there is Jack. Jack looked very well. And these are stitched on 14 count plastic canvas or perforated plastic, whichever you want to call it. No, 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 we don't get to eat the bobbin. I apologize, Tinkerbell was going after my bobbin of green floss. Um, then we have Sally. Sandy Claus. We have one of the townsfolk. This is Behemoth, also known as Axe and the Head Guy. We have the mayor, who can't make decisions for himself. He is only an elected official. <laughs> Quote from the movie, not, not, not a reflection on anything going on in my town, I swear. Um, and then we have Oogie's Boys. Although one of them's a girl, so I don't get how they're all boys. So this is Locke. Shock. And Barrel. Then we have... What's on that? Okay. We have the Master of Spooks himself, or the Master of Bugs. Um, Oogie Boogie. Dr. Finkelstein, who is to come to the front of the line. I really like the movie, can you tell? And, uh, Zero. I thought about changing his nose to orange, but I left it red mostly because I finished him at work. I actually took all of these to work and stitched them when I was still working as a cleaning person for the, the butcher shop, the, my, my previous employer. And I just didn't do it, do it. And then I stitched their Clouds Factory's um, famous movie monsters or what was the name of them? Anyway, it's their, it's their, no, Halloween Classics, that's the name of it. And now Aurora is sitting on my, flat, my, my fabric over here. So first off, we have the mummy. He is not FFO'd. None of these ones are FFO'd. I have Wolfman. Count Dracula. Frankenstein's monster. Bride of Frankenstein. The creature from the Black Lagoon. And then my favorite, and one of the trickier ones to hold up, the Invisible Man. Now you can see, I actually cut out where he would be, where the gaps were, so you wouldn't see the perforated plastic. But I feel like this adds to the illusion that he's just not there. So, you know, it's just plastic being held up. These kittens are such troublemakers. What are you doing, Aurora? <laughs> oh, and then last weekend, I got out the sewing machine because I like to make my life difficult. And I had a pattern I really wanted to stitch up. It is a basket. And the inside is just plain black fabric. You can't see any seams on the entire thing until you look at here. <laughs> I got a little impatient when it came time to bind the top. And since this was just for me and it's not a gift for anybody or anything, I just went ahead and used the sewing machine. Shouldn't have because I now know better, but it's all done. 
and I'll tell you the 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 name of the person who came up with this. This is from the Sewing Chick, and it is called Quilt As You Go Tutorial Thread Catcher Basket. I'm just going to show this because I printed everything out. So credit where credit is due. This credit goes for the pattern goes to this person. And uh, I just kind of wanted to show off what I did with it. Not that, you know, I'm not taking credit for this. Good God, I can't even, <laughs> I can't even bother to have the patience to stitch this up here by hand like she says to do. No, so I just, I just wanted to share because I thought the colors came out just so so fabulous. And there's there's actually a rhyme and a reason to them. I went with the lighter color all the way over to the darker colors using the colors of the rainbow. So you know red, yellow, pink, green, purple, orange, blue, and then I needed two other colors so I did white and gray. I could have done black but I didn't want to do black because my base fabric is already a black swirly fabric and then my inside was black. Um, had I thought about it more, I might not have made this red, I might have made it black, but I was already done by that point, so I didn't care. All right, so that's all my finishes and whatnot. Now let's show my whips. So progress update. I could have had this done last night had I applied myself. I did not apply myself. Um, Clouds Factory is there is no planet B. All of the animals are done. The words are not. This is a fabulous stitch and I'll go over more of it, you know, when I'm actually done with it and I've got it spread on something so that it's nice and tight and you can see it all better. But if you can see it says there, there is no is next here. And I haven't started it. I haven't really done that yet. I've kind of started the bottom for some of the letters, but it's just not there yet. But there we go. I'd also name the animals that came in between now and my last video, but I'm this is getting a little a little long and I kinda don't feel like it. I know I'm a horrible person. I'll survive though. Next, I kind of actually have two new starts as well. And they're new starts and work in progress. So I have There's No Place Like Home from Mill Hill. It's a, it's a five by seven. It'll be done, well, it might be done by the end of the year, it might not. We'll see what happens. I've got, you know, Christmas holidays coming up. And I'll be done with There Is No Planet B soon, um, hopefully tonight, once I get this video up and going. It's already, what, what time is it, 4.30 in the afternoon? So, it's nice and dark outside. And then my other new start, and I'm partially finished with this, actually, I'm almost halfway done. The, a part released yesterday and I just haven't stitched it yet. And this is Story Stitches. Christmas classic, Sal. I love this. Look at how fabulous her designs are. So for those of you who are not familiar, we have the Grinch and his dog Max, Snow Miser, Heat Miser, and Frosty. Right here is where the next one goes, and that is actually going to be Kris Kringle from the Rankin Bass special, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. I'm excited to do him. I, With the way things were going, a lot of us in the group were thinking that next to Frosty might be um, Karen or maybe the rabbit or what's the name of the magician? Um... Oh goodness, what is the name of the magician from that movie? I should know it. I should know the name of that. Oh well, anyway. But no, it ended up being Kris Kringle. So I'm actually hoping that this is going to be Miss Jessica from the same movie so that you have Mr. and Mrs. Claus in the middle because that would be perfect. Um, 
And I don't know what they'll do here. I have no clue what will go up here. Um, it might be Charlie Brown for all I know. I know that's one that has kind of been mentioned as something that's probably going to be in here. So maybe Charlie Brown? I don't know though. I'm excited to see what's going to happen. It's a very, this is a very addicting stitch. And all of these little characters, once you've got the frame in, they all stitch up very quickly. So you can definitely do them as they release in one night. They have a piece that's released every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The Grinch actually released on Monday, November 29th, which is actually my mom's birthday. So the Grinch released on Wednesday the 29th. The final piece will be released on Final piece should be released on Christmas Eve the 24th. So it'll be done just in time for Christmas. I'm excited. I'm excited. I get Christmas Eve off so I don't have to work, so I'm excited. Very much excited to stitch on that. Um, is there anything else? I don't think there's anything else for me to show. Cool. <laughs> um, I know this is going to be one of my longer videos. I'm going to have fun putting the little pieces together when I go to upload this. Um, I still have plans to start Summer Mouse in a House sometime soon-ish. I don't think it will be my first start of the new year. I have not yet decided what my first start of the new year will be. Um, it might be a Mill Hill. It might be one of my Disney Dreams collections that have been sitting in a drawer for a couple of years. It could be literally anything at this point. Um, I don't necessarily have any plans to start a new Sal for next year. Um, or at least none of the Sal's that have been announced for Clouds Factory. And Frost Pumpkin Stitchery has not yet announced their Sal for the year. So... I don't know if we be doing that. Clouds Factory has revealed that their sal for 2022 will be a dinosaur alphabet. And while I kind of want to do it, I've already done an alphabet. I did the mythical creatures alphabet. So I think I'll wait and see what this looks like once the first two dinosaurs come out. Whichever ones they will be. My guess is it'll be probably be L and M. Depending on how they set it up, it'll probably be L and M because Mythical Creatures started in the middle and they released L and M together as their first ones. So, I mean, if I do stitch it, I'm probably not going to keep it. I'll be giving it to my cousin for his little boy because his little boy likes dinosaurs. I like dinosaurs too. I'm really excited for the new Jurassic World Dominion movie that's coming out, but... I don't know that I necessarily need it up on my wall. Oh, thing of wall. Up there, you can see into the jungle, or yeah, into the jungle is uh, framed. It's all nice and framed. Hasn't fallen down again, so we're good. Um, One of the only things that I might find myself doing that's another sow or sow, stitch along is Story Stitches Beauty and the Beast sow. I already decided I want to do it. I really want to do... Right. I think I want to do it on February's Fabric of the Month from Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. I apologize for the shaking. I'm not having an earthquake. It is just me messing with the table and the camera. So February's Fabric of the Month from Fortnite Fabric was called Two Commas. And it's a very pretty pastel-y pink, pinky purple kind of mix. So if you can see that, I think it would look gorgeous on that. And it's sparkly, so there's that. Um, and I kind of have, I kind of have plans to do that one next year. I think I have all of the floss necessary to do it. So, there's that. 
I did kind of go through my stash while I wasn't filming and I was too tired to, you know, stitch and kind of go through my, my fabrics and what pieces I had that could be stitched on those cuts of fabric and which, which ones I think would be the best. And I've got a lineup. So maybe I'll try to get one of these done on Christmas Day, a Fostube video. I'll try to get one done on Christmas Day because I'll be home alone after my mom goes to work, except for the, the kitty cats. Um, and maybe we'll talk about plans, you know, in gen you know, generally speaking, my plans. Um, they will be in flux because I can't plan anything for save my life, except for a meal. <laughs> all right i i honestly do think that's everything now uh thank you all for watching thanks for watching my videos thanks for listening to me ramble and bleh. <laughs> and do the do the word vomit thing i do for like what half an hour an hour maybe goodness this might be my longest video ever um hmm I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave this up on the screen for a little while and maybe we'll do a screen grab of this for, for Facebook, for the, for the thumbnail, so I don't have to take a screenshot of my computer or something. And we'll do that. Hopefully that will hold for long enough that Facebook will like it. All right. Thank you, folks. Hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, I hope everybody has a wonderful Christmas. I will try to have a video up before the end of the year, but you know me, I'm inconsistent. The only thing I do consistently is go to work, eat, sleep, and stitch. And get on Zoom with uh, the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful ladies from uh, Fun Day Stitchers on Facebook. So I get on Zoom with those ladies every night. They're becoming some of my best friends. <laughs> All right. I, I, I need to get going before the cat tear some stuff apart. Bye.